Hello, this is Malik Bukira, Creative Director at Spearhead Games. Today I'm going to talk to you about the combat system of Stories, The Path of Destinies. Stories is a madcap epic fantasy where each choice you make takes you into a different story. Some stories are dark, some are romantic, but they are all action-packed. We didn't want to simply tell our players an adventure story. We want them to take part in the action of being an adventurer, which obviously includes stabbing bad guys. Renardo, our main character, is a sword food expert. His fighting style is fluid, allowing him to swiftly jump from one enemy to the next in an uninterrupted flow. It's a very offense-oriented style, as his way of defending himself is actually to attack his attacker first. This combat style takes good reflexes, but it's also tactical at the same time. So besides slashing and kicking, we also introduce a really cool grapple mechanic. Simply by holding or releasing the attack button, Reynardo can grapple enemies by impaling them and then throw them or even use them as meat shields to block oncoming attacks. It's a super intuitive crowd control mechanic and it makes you really feel in control of your character. Also, the fact that this game is set in a floating island universe definitely makes this even better. Stories also has an elaborate progression system that allows you to customize your abilities and choose the way you fight. Some of the abilities Renardo can unlock include the ever cool hookshot, which is sort of the reverse of the throw mechanic. There's also the dash, which is both a defensive and tactical repositioning tool. Actually, it can even be a very satisfying offensive tool since it allows Renardo to dash through enemies, hurting them at the same time. Finally, Renardo can play with time itself. This is the ultimate tactical ability, literally a game changer. If so you choose, you can unlock the ability to see combat situations like a true master martial artist. Time slows down after each attack until you decide to move again. This is really cool if you like your combat to look awesome like a 300 scene, or are the kind of person who really likes to think through every single action, literally making the combat feel almost turn-based. Well, that's it for now. There's a lot more cool stuff to the combat in this game, like the badass magic swords. But that's a story for another time. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon or something. Anyways, goodbye.